Today's show is pre recorded. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all don't know y'all better act. Hat on, suit on, looking like a trapdoor, giving them all. Dress like a million bucks, but things in his cup. Y'all tell me who could it be but Steve Harvey? Oh, yeah. Everybody listen to me. Mm-hmm. Put your hands together for Steve Harvey. Put your hands together. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. everybody y'all listening to the voice come on dig me now one and only steve harvey got a radio show yeah i do man god is good hey uh today i just want to get right to it because this has really been uh pressing me uh i woke up and this was on my mind and i wanted to share it with you because i know this for a fact see i've i've lived this for a fact i and, and you know uh the majority of things I talk about in the morning uh, before we get started with the regular show is something that I've experienced. I, I can only tell you what I know. And so I've really, really understood why God has uh, had my life go the way that it's gone. Uh, because if I didn't have all these tests in my life, if I didn't have all these tests that I passed, all these tests that I failed, If I didn't have all of those, the good and the bad, what could I share with you in the morning? What could I tell you about hanging? What could I tell you about failing and then winning? What could I tell you about hanging in there when all hope was gone? How how could I share that with you unless I've had those moments myself? I don't care what happens to you. I don't care what you're going through. Don't you dare, dare give up. Under no circumstances. Don't you dare, dare ever give up. It is the biggest trick that the enemy has. is making us think we ain't going to make it. To, uh, water down the illusion that there's a possibility that you might still have a chance to get over. The biggest trick he uses is when you make a mistake and you fall, he gets you to start to thinking it's final, that there is no resurrection, there is no redemption, there is no recovery. He just makes you think it's final. He is the master deceiver. Don't you dare, dare ever give up. I don't care what besets you, befalls you, trips you up, what circumstantial situations may arise. Don't you dare, dare ever give up. Because listen to me, these are tests that you are going through. And these tests, whether you pass the test or it appears that you failed the test, The test accomplishes the mission if you're smart about it. 
if you pass the test, let's say you're going through a situation and you get over and it goes the way you want it to do, then what you've learned is if you hang in there, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, mission accomplished. If you fail the test and it doesn't go the way you want it, and it goes the opposite, and it turns out into a negative result, and the and response you were looking for is a no. That's not final. That doesn't mean it's over. That doesn't mean it's time to turn back. It simply means that now you have learned a valuable experience. You have learned a valuable lesson. You now know what not to do. You are now, because you know what not to do, another step closer to getting it right. Listen to me. It has to happen this way. You have to have the rain in your life to get the flowers in your life. You got to have the darkness in your life to appreciate the sunshine in your life. You got to have woes and worries to appreciate the joys. It is merely a test. So when you get through failing and you get through stumbling, and you get through messing it up. All that's getting you one step closer to getting it right. Oh, my relationship ended. I'll never be able to find another person like that. Not only will you not be able, well, not only will you be able to find a person like that, you can find a person that far better than that if you don't give up. But see, sometimes you got to go through the bad ones to get to the good ones. Don't you dare, dare ever give up. I don't care what happens to you. If you lose a loved one, and Lord knows I've lost some people I've loved dearly with every inch in me. I've lost my mother, my father, my brother, and my best friend. I don't know. I know people who have lost their children Goodness, man, I can't even imagine that. But they kept on going. What you giving up for? Oh, I got you missing and I got you grieving. But I got news for you. Don't you let the devil make you think it's over for you because somebody else ain't still here. It was their time. Now, I'm not trying to lessen the blow for you, but I'm trying to get you up on your feet. So you can stop all this old oh, woe is me because the things is happening to you. You're not the first person this happened to. Come on now. Let's get a grip. Let's wrap your mind around this thing. You have got to move forward. If it's just in memory of those people. I was on one of the commercial breaks the other day and somebody asked me uh, something and I forgot the question. But my answer was, I've always wanted my mother and father to be proud of me. And in their absence and their demise. I'm hoping just somehow, man, that they watching me, that they see their boy, that I'm down here, that I'm doing better, that I'm making something about myself, that I'm loving my wife, that I'm taking care of my kids. I just want my old man to see that about me. You know, I want my mother to see that I'm trying to get my life together over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a better person. My mama was a Sunday school teacher for 40 years. She's been praying for me for a long time. I just hope, man, and that's all I'm doing is just hoping that they see me so they can be proud of me. See, you, 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 you got to understand that when you make these mistakes, that when you fall and stumble and you get it all so wrong, it ain't over for you. Don't you dare, dare, dare ever give up. Don't stop thinking, man, because it ain't happening just the way you want it to, that it ain't meant to be. Devil, he got so many tricks to deceive you. You know why you're being tested right now? Because there is no testimony without the test. You got to go through something. It's all good, man. Telling you. Just wanted to share that with you. Don't you give up out there. I don't care what's happening. Don't, 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 don't get deceived. The victory's coming. But you ain't going to get it if you quit. Hang on, y'all. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let me have your divided attention, please. This is the beginning of a new day. This is the start of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Let us begin. Three, two, one. What's up, Shirley? Hey, what's up, Steve? <laughs> Carla? What's going on, Steve? Hey, crew. Hey, Julia. Big dog. What's that? What's going on? on the porch. Nephew Tommy. Doggy dog. I see you, boy. <laughs> you sound like you're on the porch and we're passing by. And but that's not like the porch. Yes. 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 <laughs> Ain't that's nothing like the porch. You drive that thing. Drive that thing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were so crazy, Steve. Oh, we were hey, no, no, no. Monica. Monica. Oh, oh, you act like you don't know nobody. <laughs> oh, well, you look cute, that girl. Walking around on one holiday in a pit. <laughs> <laughs> on the porch. <laughs> Bobby Womack. <laughs> if you think you're lonely now. <laughs> Baby, on that porch. To tonight. Yeah. I love it. If you think yeah. you know, you know, I think I'm going to go down the store and get me a watermelon. <laughs> that, that's what you got to say. Now, now, now let me ask you something. When you, now I got when you, for watermelon. When you thump a watermelon, what you listening for? No, I don't thump watermelons. Well, I know how to pick watermelons. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were supposed to thump them. No, dog. What you going to tell about a thump? This is how you pick a sweet watermelon. Okay, how do you where the do stem it? comes out, the bottom, where it has the stem on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Or where the stem mm. used to be. Uh-huh. If you see a lot of, you know, those veins, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. the little veins on the outside, uh-huh. on the outside mm-hmm. that's sugar content. Oh. Mm. oh. So that means it's a sweet, ripe that's right. watermelon. That's okay. right. Okay. Now, you can pick a sweet one that don't have it because mm-hmm. like them dark green ones don't oftentimes show a lot of veinage. Mm-hmm. But when you pick them light green with them long ones, mm-hmm. huh? Yeah, old school. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you say, huh? huh? That that right there? <laughs> when it got a lot of brown veins coming around off that stalk, that stem, that sugar content. Oh, so that means it's right ready. That's how you ready. pick. Okay. Boy, now you if know, you they, got... They thump them down south. I didn't... That, yeah, so, well, you know, yeah, you don't, you don't know how to store. do that because you don't buy enough of them. You don't grow them. If you grow watermelons, you can thump them. But you don't know what you even looking for. Okay, well, yeah, when they thump, what you looking for? Yeah, that's what I'm I don't doing. know. I don't know what I'm listening for. So now you just thumping. <laughs> <laughs> you finna take this ragged ass watermelon right on to the house. And and are we do are we doing seeds or seedless? Because I like seeds. No, it, it, see, there's no watermelon that don't have seeds in it. All watermelons got seeds. But but yeah, but you know they have seedless watermelons. At it, the that's store. Gemet- genetically modified, surely. I can read. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I know. It's in a store like yeah, that. It, yeah, I it's know. But that ain't the real. Them out, then, but that ain't the real. Real watermelons have seeds in it. Right. Oh, real fruit. Watermelon. That's what I thought. Let me tell you something. Go to Africa and seeds. and you be trying to find seedless watermelon the whole time you over there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like none. seeds. I want the yeah. seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just a little country lesson on how to pick a watermelon. That's vein right. content. The vein yeah. content. Because we get, because we buy, we approaching watermelon season. Yes, when is it exactly? Because I'm June. Ready. June. Oh, okay. it's June. <laughs> All right. <laughs> July to September. Your ass. That's watermelon time. Come on now. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, it is time to start your morning off with the nephew and run that prank back, nephew. What do you have for us today? This right here is HPP, Husband oh. Protection Program. Protecting Protect these husband. husbands mm-hmm. from the wives who are just a bit dangerous. All right, let's go, cat dog. HPP, Husband Protection Program. If you hood. Good afternoon, this is Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Um, my name is Josh. I'm with uh, HPP. Giving you a call. You are married to uh, Mr. Sean. Am I correct? Yes. You're with who now? I'm with HPP. We actually um, pick your husband up from his job today. I wanted to give you a call. Are you... Pick him up for what? Okay, you're, you're his wife, Morgan, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, actually, just wanted to make sure that he's okay and we're, we're worried Why about his well-being. Why would he not be okay? What happened? Well, nothing's happened as of right now. We've had a conversation with him, and we've checked him out. He's definitely okay. Okay, but why, why are you picking him up, though? I don't, I don't understand. Why, 
All right, just 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 calm, calm down. Hang on a second. I got a couple questions for you. Your husband, he is about what five nine, correct? Yeah. Right, and you would agree that uh, Sean weighs uh, about one hundred and seventy five pounds. Does that sound about right? That he weighs, uh, yes. Okay. Here's another question. Now, exactly, Morgan, how tall are you? I'm five nine as well. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind, I know it's a little different type of question, but if you don't mind, how much do you weigh? I'm like two hundred. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What is what is what is how much I weigh have to do with it? it? I don't. What what is wrong with him? And where is why? Where is he right now? We actually have him. We have him in our custody. You right have now. him where? We have him in our custody right now here why? at our headquarters at HPP. So what head what is a what is a HPP? Ma'am, HPP is Husband Protection Program. Husband Protection I've never I have never heard of such a thing. Why why is he there? Well, the problem we have and we've been getting some actual complaints or whatnot and not necessarily from him, but that you've been bullying your husband. Okay, you know what? I'm at my job and I'm gonna need you to hold on one second so I can go in here. <laughs> What, what what did you say? Have you and uh, Sean had any arguments at all lately? Have we had? We're married. Have we had arguments? Of course you had arguments. What, what does that have to do with anything? Have you guys had any altercations? Any altercations? Yes. What kind of altercations? Have you been bullying your husband in a physical way? Have I been bullying him? Have, bullying have him been, how? Have you been, have you what been the f you talking about bullying him? For somebody to turn in and give us... Somebody who? 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 Because if it's him, you need to put him on the phone. If it's him, you need to let me talk to him. I, I can't put him on... This, this is what I'm talking about. What, and this what is what you're talking about? Do. You call me at my job, put off the freaking HPP crap, and somebody turn somebody in for some arguing. We're married. Who do you freaking know who's married and does not argue? I understand you're mad, but it is my job to protect husbands that are getting bullied by their wives. This is our... Okay, let me speak to him. I'm not at liberty to let you speak to him right now. To you, what you're not going to do is bully me as well. And I, I see. Everybody's trying to bully you. I want to know what's going on and why you call me at my job with some crap about him being at some headquarters on HPP. I don't even HPP is never heard of HPP, and my husband is not even protected from anybody, especially not me. It is husband protection program. You've been bullying your husband. You've been using bad language with your husband. How long? Sean. <laughs> 
No praise and prank praise. That's all right. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'll be back Thank in an hour nephew. with another one. I don't need it. Coming up next, it is Ask the CLO <laughs> with Steve Harvey, our chief love officer, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for Ask the CLO, chief love officer Steve Harvey in the building. This one is from Carmen in Braden, Florida. Carmen says, my sister and I hang out with a group of women that she works with. My sister and her friends love to drink alcohol and eat out. I hate splitting the bill with this group because they do a lot of drinking and I don't. So I have to spend money that I shouldn't have to spend. I told my sister I will start requesting a separate check and she can't understand why. I know I am right about this one. So why is my sister siding with her, with her ugly friends? (laughs) <laughs> because all of them drink and eat. And you just said, mm-hmm. these is your sister's friends. Mm-hmm. But see, you chose this move. Nobody made you. Your sister is your sister by birth. Nothing you can do about that. But these are her friends, and you chose her friends. Why don't you start another circle of friends that don't drink as much? See, mm-hmm. but, but see, you, you put yourself in this here mess. Mm-hmm. And that's how they do it. And now you can't you can't jump in the mess and then try to change the mess. They was doing this before you got invited over. Mm-hmm. And so now you're going to come in here, the new girl, and you're going to upset the apple cart. They drink. That's what they do. Yeah. They drink. Yeah. And they're unattractive. Don't go. That's cold. She said, how you know they're unattractive? <laughs> she <laughs> said. She did my sister and her ugly friends. Yeah. Well, you know, there's nothing well, worse said. than drunk. Ugly people when they drink. <laughs> <laughs> what, Steve? What? When ugly people drink. Ooh. Cause, oh, and then, I'll you tell you something. Get when, dog, when cute people drink, they get ugly. Yeah. When ugly people drink, they already ugly. <laughs> to, uh, to other drinkers. Woo! <laughs> uh. All right, moving on. Jerrica in Cincinnati says, I'm 40 and I'm dating a 42-year-old guy that is a narcissist and it's a turnoff. He's an attorney and I work as an administrative assistant. I do everything for this man and I dote on him 24-7, giving him everything he needs to be happy. We had a bad argument recently and he said that I don't bring anything to the table and I should be grateful he's in love with me. His words shocked me into reality and he's right. There's no way I can stay with him after that. Do I leave peacefully or tear some things up? You what better you say the right thing. Uh-uh. Wow. I mean, look, he's a narcissist. Tear it up. You knew that. And you lucky that he's even in love with you. What? <laughs> Man. <laughs> now, the godly thing to do is to just walk away. And let him go find somewhere. And then you you may you you feed into the narcissism by doting over him and doing everything mm-hmm. for this man. And then he turn around and tell you, you bring nothing to the relationship. So you yeah. help feed into the narcissism. So here's what I would do. I would walk away. But <laughs> Shirley wants you to tear something up. Oh, you know. And Carl. Uh, Carl is voting his in. I don't even know how he got tires on his car. <laughs> What it was, and the windshield, you know, and Mississippi Monica on her Zoom camera just pointed at the camera like, yes. So I think uh, no matter what I say, I think you on the way out, you're going to do something. This is and true. Then, um, so you're dating Donald Trump. 
is what you're saying. What? No. Because yeah. he's a narcissist. Because yeah. he's a narcissist. Mm-hmm. So yeah. uh, yeah. I would say walk say away that. peacefully and just say, you know what? But I would do it like, you know what I tell him? I said, you know what? Mm-hmm. I, you don't deserve me. That's right. You That's don't true. deserve this kind of love, this kind of doting that I've done. And I've been a fool. So I suggest that you take you and all your arrogant ways and share it with somebody else because I don't want it anymore. Mm-hmm. That would be the best way to do it. You walk away from him. Right. That would really be That's the a, shocker. Then That's tear the something up and do. slam the door. See, right Let's there. move on. Right mm-hmm. there. <laughs> Since I don't bring nothing to the table, I uh-huh. have to the table. Yeah, turn the table, the table over. Break the table. They say we would never look at a table once... <laughs> I bet I can bring this brick through that window, though. (laughs) (laughs) All right, moving on. Vanny in Brooklyn says, I've been divorced for almost two years, and my husband came to town to attend my daughter's parent-teacher conference, and he admitted that he still loves me, and he asked for a second chance. My heart melted, and I told him we could try to make it work. But there's one issue. He admitted to sleeping with my coworker after we got divorced. I thought I could forget about it, but it's hard. Do I forgive him or not? God, this is after y'all divorce. What's it to forgive? Right. I mean, it's nothing to forgive. He ain't do nothing wrong. Y'all was divorced. He slept yeah. with your coworker. And she's got to look at that coworker every yeah, day. That, that's that's, right that's every you. Day. That's you and your coworker. That ain't. He told. Why did he tell you that? I knew knew that's what you were going to do. Some Uh acid ass moments these dudes be having. (laughs) What, Steve? Say that again. All these confessing ass moments. What is she sitting up in there talking about your damn her co worker (laughs) fault? Admit it. Now, unless he was telling you, Mm -hmm. now here's the problem. (laughs) Unless he was admitting after the divorce Mm -hmm. that he slept with your co worker while y'all was married. Mm. Then well, that's a different thing. Yeah. Okay. But oh, are you yeah. saying that? Because all he's saying is he admitted to sleeping with the coworker after y'all uh, got yeah. divorced. Yeah. So does that I mean he was saying. sleeping with her before? Well, See, I took it to me. Could, could, yeah, I took it to me. Could it be he don't want it to come up later and and she right. find out later? Something like that. It could be that. But I, 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 I took it to mean like he slept that. with her after they got the I don't live like he that. He still shouldn't have confessed is what wait, I'm saying. Wait, wait, Shelly, you heard me. He said, I don't live like that. He said, I don't live. You don't live don't like what? I don't like that. I don't do that. You know, Confession. Don't no, I don't bring nothing up that ain't up. <laughs> you take it to the grave. I, I hear you. I, who, who is this dude? <laughs> no, why would you interject something into your crib that ain't there? I just I can't think hold it. this no more. I, well, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> but the coworker might not be able to. The coworker might let it out. <laughs> but see, then okay, but now he didn't told you. But if he slept with if she if he slept with the coworker after y'all was divorced, he ain't committed no wrong, and he just right. openly told right. you that. Right. That's all that is. But I don't, why he tell it though? <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, uh, here we go. Junior, you're up. Hey, morning, everybody. Morning, Jim. Truth be told. Hey, man, let me just tell the truth right now. Yeah. And I'm just mean, I don't mean this disrespect to nobody in here. I love all y'all. <laughs> now, I really do. But I just want to let y'all know something, man. Mm-hmm. Truth be told, uh-huh. I, I want to be related to Uncle Steve for real. <laughs> What's wrong? No, nah, no, nah, because I, I ain't got no money in my family. You don't. I no. need somebody else besides me. <laughs> That's got money. And I just found out over vacation, Uncle Steve, boy. <laughs> Do you even looking, Tommy? I'm, I'm here. Do you know how much your uncle worth? Yeah, I already know. How much? Uh, I'm not gonna throw the number out there, but I actually know, no. I ain't know this. Yeah. But we've been working with him every day. Y'all are so disrespectful. <laughs> to what? sit up here and have a man. Did you Google him? You did I Google him? Uh. What this man on the cover magazine? What, what, we supposed to treat him different or something? Yes. No. Because yeah. of his income? The hell, the hell we ain't. It's broke people. You treat better than him. No. no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. I got an ain't it. I swear I never talked to the same. No, <laughs> no, no. Not as long as I know I'm Steve. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't Hilda, if you don't get your broke ass away from me, it's the new life. <laughs> you so sorry. Hilda. No, no. I'm tired of Tired all the broke people. I got to be nice to him. He and Uncle Steve, and we treat him like he ain't worth nothing. This man here can change our generations. We treat him regular. We treat him like I don't want to treat him regular. <laughs> uh, Uncle, I love you. 
<laughs> now, if you Thank need you, me, we're, we're, yeah. we're giving him all these props. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay, yeah. I tell you what, he worked more than a hundred million. Did you know that? I knew that. Yes, Did you know, know that? that? I knew that. Did you know he was the highest paid? Well, I want to say that. that. Junior, I was with him when he was worth a hundred dollars. No, no, forget that. <laughs> you know that was his name. I was here on the rise. I, 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 I was here through it all. I knew him when he wasn't worth nothing. <laughs> 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 but 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 now he didn't pass everybody. I'm yes, still gonna yes, trip on yes, him. Yes, yes. We're not tripping on you. You the no, one that yeah, sound like you just yeah. found out. I didn't know he was this rich. Yes. Yeah. He oh is. my God. Oh, do you need your shoes shining? Because you know you're gonna be on TV. No, you're lot. not shining. Yes, I will. No, you're not. Yes, we're not, I will. We're not doing this for him. We're not. Listen, it no, makes it worse. Stop. Forget that. We treat no. him like that. I, regular folk got thirty dollars an hour. <laughs> that regular folk. <laughs> All right. That's y'all quit this. Okay, <laughs> y'all quit this. Regular folks, seventeen ninety five. To be treated. Regular people, if may I take your order? That regular people. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two hundred million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a little different. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. People with two hundred million, you still have to tell him. You tell him to steal something. Sit your little ass. But what down. he do that you do? That's regular time. Huh? He don't do nothing you do. No, he don't. Okay, so he how is he regular? Uh, you have to. I treat sit in a regular right. chair. He don't. Yeah. That, that's about it. Shut up, Bob. No, 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 that's it. That's it. Don't even try oh. it. All right. Shit. You, you don't, he don't drive the car, you drive. No. No, he yeah. balling. Tommy. No, he yeah. balling. He balling. Tommy drive. I got Go ahead, say it. You can say it. Stop, Bob. Just. That, what? This. How did it's I not, get caught is up is in troop, this? This is Junior's this is, truth be told. I'm yeah. telling the truth. Okay. I, right. I won't be with up. Okay. Now, well, if I can go ahead and just start getting paperwork done today, to be a shame, no, to be a Harvey. No, you're not getting in this you're, family. You're no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay. Stop, stop. stop. You, you've been, you're not I'm, getting it. I'm getting my lips and sides today. <laughs> I'm getting my lips buffed out today. So I'm, hey, I'm people do it every night. day. Collagen is, I'm going to look a whole lot different. You're about to buff your lips <laughs> out. I'm about to buff. <laughs> I'm about to buff. I'm, I'm, I'm growing grow my, my mustache. mustache out and I'm cutting all my hair off. And I'm about to break, bend my knees some more. I'll be yeah. mobo legged. Yeah. Just trying to let you know. God. I'm going to look just like him. Everybody need crazy. a mini me. Everybody need a mini me. I can see that <laughs> lip thing going wrong and then you're going to look ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm bleaching yeah. myself to get yeah, two you're shades. Gonna, you're going to send your sucker cell right into something. I'm telling you. Okay, well, you healthy and you still ain't there. And I can oh. see I can see one yeah. side of that mustache taken. Just one side. <laughs> Yeah, okay, just stick on one watch, side. Watch me. Watch me be just like Uncle Steve by tomorrow. Y'all y'all get on out here with this. This man worth money. This okay. man. So this man, Junior, I, after you do all of that, that don't make that don't make you worth I more see, money, dog. I see it's the, bottom, the closest image I got. I see the bottom lip real thick and the top lip thin. thin yeah. You're gonna mess yourself he up. Gonna, okay. All right. We should look like say. this my key. <laughs> 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 You ain't gonna deter me. I don't see nobody said I want to be like Jay at the No, brother. nobody should. <laughs> I ain't heard that one yet. I used to want to be funny as Jay, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. No, oh, I first I, met Jay. He was my goal. He was my whole goal. Hilarious. I wanted to be that funny on mm -hmm. stage, man. I really did, man. I wanted to be that funny on stage. They're one of the funniest it, dudes I ever met. Oh yeah, I ain't no sure. lie. Oh, and yeah. on stage, dog, when the when the boy ain't gotta go to the bathroom, he had. <laughs> you trying to get out there? You ain't lying. Oh, let me tell you something. If he, he get his ass out there, you gonna make you pay. <laughs> <laughs> what he been? Don't let him have it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, that was true. Be told. That was true. You want to be yeah. on the scene. So Junior is treating Steve differently. differently. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So that's and I refuse out. to fall under uh, those conditions. Uh, you need to ride down what? to the to the TV show today because I'm going that way. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be I'll be on TV in a uh, about another little about two weeks. We can have. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. About two more weeks. Car? I'll be you back. Just take it if you want. Why would he take your car? <laughs> if he just needed it. You just giving him all your stuff. How you gonna get around? I don't have to. I Uber. Oh, you gonna Uber? <laughs> all right, we gotta go. We'll we'll be um, back. Take it straight on. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, time now for Would You Rather? Would you rather be stuck on an island for eternity, all on your own, all on your own, or would you rather be stuck on an island for eternity with someone you hate? Mm. Ah, yeah. Give me B. I'm gonna yeah. go with B. Cause me and me and me and him gonna have to work through some things so we can survive this thing. 
Yeah. That's about to talk to. I hope yeah. it's a me and her. Yeah. We can really work it out. Yeah. B. B for me. Yeah, B. I'm going to drive myself yeah, crazy by my damn self. Yeah. No, I got the hell B. I'm on an island now. And Tommy, with all those people in your head, man, please, I got to, I got to do B. I got to have somebody I can talk to, even if we don't like each other. I got to have somebody. <laughs> all right, taking it back to your school days, would you rather be prom king or valedictorian? Mm. Oh, prom king, prom king, oh, without <laughs> really? a doubt, popular. Then when hell, Popular's I couldn't popular. be valedictorian. Huh? That that would have ruined <laughs> my whole high school experience. All this damn no, study. <laughs> All that studying and stuff. You know the yeah, stuff I'd have missed trying to get this A on this test? <laughs> I don't give a damn about no A on no test. Man, I got to get out here learn these social skills. <laughs> uh, a. <laughs> All A's? Yeah. Do you know what that would have took out of me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, in order for me to get all A's in high school, I'd have had to sell my bike. Uh-huh. I'd have had to uh, withdraw from all extracurricular activities. I'd have to stop playing sports. Right. I'd have to. Whew. What else? What? Just I'd have to, God had to give up. I couldn't have no girlfriend. Girls, mm. I knew. Girls. I didn't have a whole lot of success then, but most of my time with women was spent trying. Yeah, the success that's ratio what, that's wasn't high, high at fun. all, but the effort I had to put in just you to get, talk to one. And, yeah, Junior, what about you? Get me started on oh, prom, yeah, prom king. king. Yeah, prom king. Everybody gonna be valedictorian. It's prom season right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was, I was. I, that's a touchy subject. I was runner up. I'm prom. I didn't win. Uh, oh, you oh, lost. What? I couldn't get black. Oh, I couldn't man, get black off the boat back then. <laughs> You lost, Tommy. I lost. I lost. They wasn't voting. Wasn't yeah, but you went to school. Right. But but see, Tommy, you you was after me. You was a school white kids. Yeah, but 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 I couldn't get the black kids to vote. That was my problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you look lost. how things Prom have changed. King. We're voting now. We're voting now. Yes, we are. We're voting now. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. Well, thank you, guys. That's today's round of Would You Rather. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys, listen up. Here's a good one for you. A social media question we found on our Facebook page. Uh, What if before dating someone new, and I know you guys are married, but uh, Mm. you needed two different references from exes, even if you before you got married. How about that? You needed two different references Mm -hmm. from your exes. Mm-mm. Here's the question. Which of your exes would be your two references and why? And what would they say? Mm-mm. What do you think uh-uh. they'd say? No. Come on, Kier, Mm-mm. Junior, no, Shirley. Spate. No. <laughs> Let's no. go. We, no, hey, we're not doing none of my exes, but we can go is back to vacation Bible school and get somebody out of there. Go and get nobody <laughs> in my adult as life. A, as a reference. <laughs> yeah, as a reference. You need somebody who was in church to talk about I me. I was going to tell you, uh, both of my references oh. was from the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's That's hear it. Uh, and what they would say about uh, me uh, is, What would they man, say? He showed so much promise, and he was <laughs> trying to overcome a stutter. <laughs> <laughs> and he was determined. <laughs> just glowing, Steve. Just and a just, glowing and remark. Ju- and, and just the way he wore his older brother's clothes. Uh-huh. It was just <laughs> yeah. fascinating. The way he would double wrap his belt around his thin, frail, de- underdeveloped body. Mm-hmm. And uh, his ability to cut out cardboard to sh- the shape of his shoe and stick it in there so you never even knew that the bottom of his shoes had holes in it. He was oh, just wow. amazing. This yeah, really he amazing. was He was really, I always, if, girl, if you ever get a chance, his sliding board skills, He this boy could, he would go up to the top of the step and jump halfway down the sliding board before his butt even hit it and then be fly up in the air and land on his feet. You should. Mm. I always knew so, he was gonna be so. You've been on the, this earth for sixty three years, mm-hmm. and the reference Fifth from grade. your ex. <laughs> we going back to when you were ten. Fifth yeah. grade. 
You think that's something? Okay, that's Tommy. Okay. What about you? You think that was what? something from from Uncle? Yeah. Steve? What about you, Tommy? What? Your exes. What? what would they say? What? And who would they be? Come on. Uh. 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 I'm, scared. I'm so scared right now, Shirley. I'm married. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm saying the I'm, dumbest things ever on this it. show. I know, but I found out earlier this week she's been listening all week. I'm just, I'm scared of my damn mouth right now. Thank I you, am. Jackie. We love you, Jackie. Yeah. Mm. Got out Jack. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what they said because I knew all of them. Okay. Oh, please. Yes. Uh, come, on. come on, Steve. You know, uh, yes, girls, I would, I would recommend him. You know, he, <laughs> he, he kept all his promises, you know. He said he would never leave me. He didn't. I got rid of him. Uh, <laughs> he said that, uh, he you know, thing, the thing about him, I mean, he's very much the same today as he was then. He <laughs> hasn't let money same. affect him. Mm-hmm. He ain't let money affect him. He was That's stupid good. then. He's no. still stupid. You know, uh, you know, you know, I missed that part. And oh, then, that's... you know, the most obvious one is, I mean, look, he he wear the same size shoe. He the same height. Mm. That, this is a person who's never changed. Uh, well, well, yeah, I should have done Big, my own. Yeah. Uh, what would Big Honey say, Unc, if Big Honey had to be a oh, Big Honey, God. Oh, big oh. Honey. Now, now, let me tell you Ooh. something. And for those that don't know who Big Honey is, she was was Tommy, Tommy, one of Tommy's ex girlfriends. Right before she got married, yeah. Close to the honey. On her back, her tattoo was a slab of ribs. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) And you used to call her Big Honey. Sarah, do you remember Kiwi? Yes, Baby I back. do. Y'all remember yes. Kiwi? Oh, yes, man. I remember Kiwi's Kiwi. tattoo on her back was an ice egg. cream sundae. <laughs> <laughs> not the fruit, not the kiwi. No, the whole sundae. <laughs> oh, big honey, man. God, dog. Oh. Boy, I had some cold ones, boy. I had some cold ones. Ooh, I remember Kiwi. She had the short hair cut. Uh-huh. Oh, man. No, big it. honey's sons jumped on me. <laughs> Don't say nothing else. Yep. We're not going to bring up your exes. Whoop my yep. ass in front of their house, man. Oh, I ain't even got that. Yep. And yep, the eight and nine year old woke his ass. <laughs> Steve, you tell it all, don't you? Coming up next, the nephew with the prank phone call right after this. His ass like he was Cat Williams. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. The subject, I lost my girl over a glass of champagne. We'll get into that in a little bit, okay. but right now, yeah, for a drink. <laughs> but right I now. Lost, I didn't lost some people before, but I ain't lost them like that now. <laughs> I mean, did you go get the drink and come back? You didn't know what she was? What, what, yeah, what, I mean, what? how you do that? We'll dog? get into it. We'll get into it. Right now, it's time for you, nephew, and today's prank phone call. What you got for us? Freedom papers. Huh? Freedom papers. What? Well, hey, let's just like run it. Right? Yeah. You don't want to talk about it. You heard a green Let's just run it. Freedom papers. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach a uh, Domingo. Yeah, this is him speaking. Hi, Domingo. I'm, my name is Scott. I'm calling from FPI. Wanted to give you a call about actually uh, using our services if I, I, I think you'll actually like it. The FPI would definitely like to get you on board. FPI? What, what is this? Uh, FBI is Freedom Papers Incorporated. Freedom Papers Incorporated. What we do is we actually make sure you get Freedom Papers. And you can purchase them from us. And what I can do is I can get you Freedom Papers for you and every individual at your home for roughly 800 bucks or under. What, what, what are Freedom Freedom Papers? Well, actually, what this is, you, I mean, are you, are you familiar with, the, like, um, Say if you are uh, an alien uh, from another country and you need a you need a, a green card to be here, are you familiar with that? Yes. Okay. So what what goes on with Freedom Papers Incorporated is when you sign and get Freedom Papers from us, what it does is it's uh, people who are African American. Our papers let them know that you are actually a free person in this country. Ho ho ho! I've been free. I'm sorry. Ain't no slavery going on. What are you talking about? Freedom. Well, I'm free. Well, you 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 you, you may be, Everybody but you have to actually show paperwork for that. When they when did they start it? 
sir, this is all over the news. You have to have freedom papers. Within the next six months, every African-American person is going to have to have freedom papers and, and have them on, on the, you know, uh, it's, it's like keeping a driver's license or a checkbook or something. You're going to have to have your freedom papers on you. God, that's some, that's some, that, that's some, I'm free. I'm not about to pay no money when I'm already free. Okay, but you're going to, sir, you're going to need paperwork to show your freedom. And you don't, do you have any freedom papers at this point right now? No, because I don't need freedom. I'm free. Sir, I don't think you quite understand. Do you understand that you could possibly, if you're caught without your freedom papers, you could be taken into captive and actually have to work for so many years in order, and, and then later on you might get your freedom. But right now, right here, if you buy freedom papers from me, I can I can fix it where you don't go through that. You can actually get separated from your family, sir. I'm not going by. Where are they going to send me to? Where are they going to deport me to Africa? I ain't never been there. No, no, you're not going to Africa. You could be actually here in the United States working on a, on a particular farm of, of, of with a lot of people who don't have their papers. If you haven't gotten this news, I do apologize, but within the next six months, you're going to need freedom papers. Who the, who the f*** are you anyway? Sir, like I said before, I'm Scott with FBI. I ain't heard no about no FPI. No, no, it's, it's FBI. Sir, it's FPI. It's Freedom Papers Incorporated. I don't give, I don't give a what it is. I'm not about to pay no, no money to be free. Sir, you have to have paperwork on you to show that you are a free citizen of the United States. Oh, hold hold the up. How do you get my number anyway? Sir, we have a list of numbers of people that we don't think have their freedom papers, and your name actually popped up here in our database. So you you're, you're not... Name pop up on okay, sir. I'm trying to, to get my number. Sir, we have a database here of people who we don't so think have their freedom papers. Your name is actually here. After talking to you, it seems like you don't have your freedom papers, and we want to make sure you get them. We're letting you know it's $200 per person to get these actual papers. So you telling me you got a database and you just calling black people all around the country? Well, no, sir. What we're doing is we're calling African Americans and letting them letting them know that they can actually uh, buy freedom papers from us, so they don't have to be if they're if they're if, if they ever get captured. Then what can happen is is that they can show their papers and not have to deal with the problems. Ain't nobody gonna buy that. We already free. You gonna have a whole bunch of runaway because we ain't paying. I'm not paying. They might, but I'm not paying. Sir, you're going to have to have your freedom papers on you at all times. That's going to be the law within the next six months. So what I'm trying to Man, do is actually sell you freedom papers so you'll understand that you, you have everything that you need. You have your driver's license. You have your freedom papers and, and whatever else that you carry on you. You have you must be out your mind. Call me on my phone this Sunday. What's wrong with you? Freedom papers. My I ain't getting you. Who, who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm Scott, sir. I'm an associate here at FPI. I ain't heard about that FPI. You just want to check from me, think I'm about to send you some damn money? Y'all can kiss my Sir, sir, I understand you, but what you got to understand is within the next six months, you're going to need these papers. Well, they're going to have to catch my fine pants. Okay, sir, don't you, don't you want to be free? I am free. Everybody's free. We got a black president. He's going to have to get freedom papers? I buy from you. Kiss my Sir, you're going to have to pay for these papers one way or the other, okay? I'm trying to, I, I gave you a call. I tried to be nice to you. I'm letting you know now. You're going to have to pay for your freedom. I'm not paying for Sir, everyone will be captured if they do not have freedom papers. You, tell you right now, come catch me. Sir, sir, you're going to get captured when you least expect it, sir. You're going to get captured when you least expect it. I'm going to be your Kunta Kente. Y'all don't have to catch me, because I ain't paying I didn't look this up on the computer right now. I can't find a scam trying to get my money in. Are you on the computer? Yeah, I Google this. Okay, can I tell you one more thing? Can I can I get you to Google something else? What the is this? Put in, put in N-E-P-H-E-W. All right. T-O-M-M-Y. All right, that's on <laughs> Nephew Tommy. <laughs> This is Nephew Tommy, man, for the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife, Marissa, got me to prank phone call you. Man, <laughs> no, y'all had me. <laughs> I was about to say, it's free already. I'll be <laughs> You about to get the <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I don't play that. As long as you all right, man. I got, I got to ask you one more thing, though. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show with Nelson <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> 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 that was pretty good, I got to admit. That was pretty doggone good. <laughs> now, you got to give me that one. That one right there. Now, I deserve an Oscar for that one right there. I did yeah, right did there. That. You already got your Oscar for the yeah, shortest. Yeah, you did great. Right. Okay, well, that dad is right there. Freedom papers. <laughs> Freedom papers. Freedom papers. Don't get caught without them. Y'all better have these papers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hey, it's going down. I am uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Y'all better get ready. Guess what? I will be at the Majestic Theater Saturday, June the 15th. Mm-hmm. This is the Nephew Tommy's House Party Comedy Jam, and you don't want to miss it. And this time, you're going to get all of me. You heard what I said. You're going to get all of the nephew. Tickets are on sale right now. Go to www.axs.com. Father's Day weekend is going down. Majestic Theater. Yay, yay. So if you're listening to us, get your tickets on sale sale right now. Oh, okay. How was this past weekend? It was good. Really? Yeah, man. Thank y'all again for coming out to see the nephew. We had a good time. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, nephew. Subject, I lost my girl over a glass of champagne. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, your nephew is here with things you whisper. You have to Come on now. No, uh, you you got to know. There are some things that you just whisper. Yeah. You know. You mm -hmm. know, when you're in the middle of something and it's going down and it, it ain't going right, there's some things that you just whisper all the time. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Barely. You hear me? I don't get that one. Yeah. She said I barely. know a lot of them. Okay. When you whisper, uh -uh. it... it <sighs> but there are some things that you whisper. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Now I am just gonna ask I'm just gonna ask you. Shut up, Junior. This I'm is just painful. <laughs> this is really painful. I'm just gonna ask you on though. Have you ever been in that moment where there's things that you just whisper? <laughs> yeah. That ain't how you say it. And it yeah. Okay. But if you have been in I'm, I'm not. I'm not finna do this, man. But tell me the things. Well, tell me when you've been in the heat of the moment that you just knew you needed to whisper. Please help him, well, Steve. All of mine ain't been in the heat of the moment. Mine uh -huh. has been other times. Oh, okay. Like, like, like what? Yeah. Like here's one. Your pants unzip. That's a good uh -huh. whisper. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a good I whisper. Can see that. That's a good yeah. whisper. Yeah. Okay. That's a good okay. whisper. What else? What else? Oh. Psst. Tommy. Huh? Your wife just walked in. <laughs> That's a good one. God. <laughs> yeah, you think. Yeah. yeah. That's a real good one right there. Yeah, you're on the dance floor. Yeah, you're on the dance floor just having a good time. Yeah, you just, oh, yeah, you're at the salsa club with your boy. <laughs> the girl tripped and showed up at the same club you at. Uh huh. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Y'all got one? one? one. Uh huh, come on. Good one. Okay. Things you need to whisper. Mm -hmm. He ain't your daddy. <laughs> What you talking about Malcolm? <laughs> Malcolm? Yeah. He ain't your Malcolm ain't my dad. I got one for you. Oh, come one. on. The police in here. What? What did you say? The what police you say? in here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> So ignorant. The <laughs> ignorant show, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, nephew. I think we get the point. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, guys. It is time for Comedy Roulette. Jay, please. It's very simple. We do it every week uh, for three subjects. Put them on the wheel. Where it stop, we'll make it funny because we can do that. Watch it. Watch it. All right. Watch it. Thank you, Jay. Here are the subjects. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you were not asleep. 
okay? <laughs> Things people say when they get dumped. Excuses people give when they can't chip in on the bill. Those are right the there. subjects. We all right know there. that one. I got your friend. Yeah. Let's spin it. Spin it. <laughs> <It's Damn. not laughs> Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. Let's go, Jim. Mm. Uh, what, 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 why, why is the duck driving the Volkswagen? What's going on? What you got, man? <laughs> <laughs> Junior, incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. I swear to God, I don't know no Tiffany. Swear I don't. <laughs> Tiffany? What? I said that? <laughs> Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, Tommy. I wanted to pee right there. I know what I'm doing. I wanted to pee right there. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I pee where I want to pee. Okay. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. That, that's because I wasn't at the fire. <laughs> what? what are you talking about? Man? We're playing comedy roulette. The subject is incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. Jay. Go ahead, gingerbread man. Jump in my face. Since you so bad. Come on. Come on with it. Dang, you were in a deep sleep. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, Junior. So, Lord, you really thought about breasts? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What? So, Lord, you really, you really thought about breasts? I like it. <laughs> it's incoherent. Random. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, nephew. I'm watching that. Put it back on Fantasy Island. I'm watching that. <laughs> The new one. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Incoherent oh. things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, Steve Harvey. I know Jesus was a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Oh. What is that about? What the hell are you talking Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, Jay. Who put the cat on the ceiling fan? What the hell's going on? <laughs> the cat? <laughs> who, put the, who put the cat on the Hard ceiling fan? Sleep. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. Somebody turn the stove off. <laughs> Ain't nobody what? cooking nothing. Ain't nobody cooking? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. Tommy, what you got? We having sex or not? Oh, you can't <laughs> make it to me. I'm sorry. I bet. How hard do you guys know. sleep? I'm trying to... Hard. Hard. <laughs> Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep, Steve. Who are the white people? <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> he, he's actually done that before. Yeah. <laughs> we was down. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Comedy roulette. Incoherent things you say when you wake up and swear you weren't asleep. I got me a Fig Newton pillow. Anybody seen it? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Steve. We need you to close this close one out. That up. <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's it? I don't know what that's about. <laughs> we'll have more. That's Comedy Roulette. We'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show at 20 minutes after, right after this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. I think all of us have this fear uh, if we work this shift, this morning shift, oversleeping and being late for work. I don't have sleeping. that fear, Shirley. I don't. You don't have that fear? Mm-mm. I don't have oh, that fear. Oh, I do. Uh, so, so the question is, how many alarms do you set in the morning to make sure you're on time for work? I got two. You have two alarms? Two. Yeah. Tommy? Yeah, mm-hmm. I have two. You don't have that yeah. fear, Steve, that if we oversleep, if we see daylight for us, <laughs> it's a daylight. Over. Ah! <laughs> 
I just did that the other day. I just did it the Daylight. other day. Yes. Woke up mad at you guys because you didn't call me. Ain't no sense of rushing if you see that daylight. Ain't no sense of rushing. For us, morning radio, man. Oh, uh, no. I woke up one time and saw daylight. I knocked the lamps over and everything. <laughs> yes. See? Fell yeah, over the rug. About. <laughs> right. Morning radio. So, so you oh. say you set two, Tommy. Carly, you set two. What about you, uh, Junior? Four. You set four. Okay. Yeah, I said and four you, alarm. Steve? I usually don't set the alarm, but if I do, I only need one. I just wake up. I'm up early anyway. But Junior, four? <laughs> four. Yeah, well, well, well you know, I, I got Well, he got sick of sale. I got to, yeah, so I was just about to say that because so I got to do pre temperature that? checks. I got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, each alarm tells me what, what I got to do first. Yeah, he, 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 he got average, sick. Most Americans set yeah. four alarms, most of them. Four? Uh -huh. Four? Most Americans. But, but see, that people don't like their job, though. We'll have more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show coming up in 33 minutes. After, we'll play a round of Would You Rather right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 